Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie. If you are new, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my social media. And happy Thanksgiving! Even though I have on like Green Day ears, but I'm honestly just waiting on Christmas. But anyways, Kelsey Nicole has dropped a response to Megan The Stallion's shot fired. Like I woke up this morning and I saw it and I was like, oh, Ooh. Okay, let's get into this. Yeah, yeah. Who I'm taking shots at? Bitch, I'm busting you. I'm talking to that same bitch that crashed that boat. I'm 42. It's okay. Like the way we're starting this off. Let's go, energy. And personally, I don't feel like Kelsey's a rapper, but you go, sis. Couldn't control your little feelings. Look what dick is costing you. She said, couldn't control your feelings. Look what dick is costing you wow okay reference to tori okay if i was the one with the gun you would have heard about a murder she said if i was the one with the gun you would have heard about a murder okay kelsey you talking that shit that that's what you doing that's cool we gonna we just gonna we gonna fly over that part because i ain't hear nothing if you would have kept it solid then i would have been told it see i really she said if you would have kept it solid then i would have been told it which i felt from the start honestly like when people were coming for Kelsey and blah, 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 blah. Like, if Meg had just spoke up for her best friend, Kelsey would have been came out, probably told the story, and boom. All of this probably wouldn't have been happening. Really thought I knew you thought that you would keep it G. If you want to talk gangsta, bitch, I'm really from the streets. She said, if you want to talk gangsta, bitch, I'm really from the streets? You from the streets, Kelsey? Cool. I ain't know. I I didn't know. Imagine lying to the DA saying I took some hush money. Put a muzzle on your friends. Y'all acting like some crash dummy. She said, you lied to the DA and told them that I took some hush money. Which is like extreme. Like that is an extreme thing to come out and say about someone. And I love the fact that Kelsey finally decided to answer. Because it was just like, bro, if I took this hush money, I wouldn't have been able to come out and say this. So get your facts straight. Like stop just saying shit because the things that you say can really affect someone and then she goes on to say like get your friends basically like get your peoples like got my chain snitch damn here you go lying yeah hey listen let you doing too much trying Ooh. and i said this before in a conversation to someone i was having like she's doing way too much just to become like a celebrity like you were already good you were already on your way to fame like you had this you have the whole hot girl summer like people are rocking with you nonetheless and you got shot so it's like yo people are like they were gonna be with you nonetheless but like she's doing a lot just like bro chill fame is coming stop rushing it because now you're spewing out so many little things the truth is kind of getting lost in the mix where I get this money from? Bitch, you knew I was a hustler. Way she dipped it to no one. Should've knew I couldn't trust. She said, where I get this money from? Bitch, you knew I was a hustler. Which I can see where that's coming from. Because, like, bro, I was, like, your assistant. I was part of, like, helping you plan stuff. Kind of low-key managing in a way. So it's just, like, you knew my capabilities. You already knew. And, like, now that I'm on the scene, you should already know like i got this no matter what like i got this so what are you saying she said the way you did 1501 i should have knew i couldn't trust you if you don't know 1501 is her previous management company before she went um with rock nation so basically saying like yo the way that you like switched up on them real quick the people who like who helped put you on the map the way that you did them, I should have known, like, yeah, you don't really have loyalty. Damn, I thought that you were selling now the jokes on me. Damn. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do y'all see what she just did? The petty. Oh, my gosh. This is what you get. You've been poking and poking the sleeping Virgo, bro. You've been poking her. And she's just like, okay guess we gonna do this now like regardless of how it ends this is what we're gonna do now because you keep poking and poking and poking and now i'm about to respond and i'm about to be petty sis put tori lane vocals in the song Wh what i ain't wanna have to do this but you steady shooting shot dad said if i spoke that a sex tape could drop was never oh she just said 
that Megan them basically threatened her, saying that if she spoke out on it, then the sex tape could drop. Who's the sex tape with? Is the sex tape with Tori and Kelsey? Who is this sex tape? Is this just like Kelsey and somebody else? But nonetheless, you don't go threatening people with a sex tape. Like, isn't that shit illegal? Don't you know better? And plus, what friend would do that? I don't care how badly me and a friend falls out. I'm not threatening to put your legit, legit business out onto social media. Like, who does that? If that statement is true, I was never supposed to be against each other. That's what y'all made it. I'ma still live it up. Yeah, I know y'all really hate it. She said it was never supposed to be like this. That's how y'all made it. Which is the truth. As I said, like this shit has been going on and on and on. Like it didn't have to be like this. It could have been the situation happened, waited until court, everything would have gotten figured out. Whoever whoever went to jail for it, whoever is guilty of it, would have been punished. And then shit could have kept going. Either if Megan and Kelsey decided they didn't want to be friends anymore, that's perfectly fine. People don't have to be friends based off of history. But it didn't have to go this deep. It didn't have to go this far. Like the shots being dropped and all this other stuff, unnecessary childish shit. All this social media back and forth, it's it's childish, honestly. Fucking dig behind my back. Who really on their knees? You are she said, sucking dick behind my back. Now who really on their knees? And shots fired. Basically, Meg was calling her ho. So Kelsey was just like, bro, who really on their knees? You were sucking dick behind my back. Like, basically alluding to the whole her and Tori relationship. It's like, you knew me and Tori were like messing around. But you're still here sucking his dick. Like, I went away for a little bit. You came back to you fucking on the nigga that I was just fucking on. Who does that? What friend does that? Plus it's Tori. Like, let me find out Tori got some great shit. Because friendship lost over Tori. Come on. Come on. Shit just got me mad. <laughs> you overachiever. All you do is succeed. That's, <laughs> that's cool. You know you lying to your label. Do they really know what happened? Who shot y'all? Bruh. <laughs> the petty. Kelsey won just for the pettiness. Just for the pettiness. Like, obviously, sis ain't no rapper or nothing. But first, you bring in the Tory vocals. Now you just brought in the Diggy vocals from the same sample that Meg used on her shot and fired. Because you know it wasn't me. I was 10 toes down whenever you had beef. As she said, like, I was 10 toes down whenever you had beef, referring to the 1501 situation, like, once you have beef, I'm behind you. Like, I had your back. Like, the loyalty. It's a goddamn shame. All you had to do was clear your best friend's name. Yo. It's a goddamn shame. All you had to do was clear your best friend's name. Like, you really had people in Kelsey's comments, like, with death threats, like, blasting her. Just, like, disgustingly talking about her and everything. It was just like, bro, you knew I didn't shoot you. What? Why? Why wait so long to clear someone's name who's innocent? Knowing that there's only three, four people who are in the vicinity who could be guilty of shooting you. Why not take it up? Well, we can't even say three, four people because Megan shoot herself. Well, I hope she didn't shoot herself. I doubt she shot herself. But just saying, like, take off your own name, take off Kelsey's name. Who else would it have been? Really? All you had to do was keep it real and stay the same, but you switched up on me for the money and the fame. Who shot you? Yeah, she told us, like, you switched up on a good friend for the money and the fame. Now all your friends are basically, like, celebrities. I'm just like, where do these girls come from? She has, like, a few friends who've been there, like Malibu Mitch. Like, she has, like, a few old friends that are still around. But a lot of the new people she's hanging around, I'm like, since when are y'all friends? Like... Since one of y'all friends, like, I understand you're young and fame and everything is great. Like, you finally made it. But you're doing too much. Slow down. Like, you're gonna get yourself into some shit. Like, chill. I thought a bitch from Bear County said so. <laughs> you a H-Town hottie, though, huh? Fuck out of here. Where's Bear County? Let me find out that's not in Houston. You basically saying that she not even really from Houston, Houston. And she here talking. So, how you at H-Town? How do you know you're not even from H-Town? That shit was hilarious. I'm sorry. Like, that was 
hilarious. It was funny. It wasn't even the this for me. It was just the petty for me. Honestly, like I can't even rate this on like a real diss track level because it was just like, it was just too funny for me. Like, I'm really, really happy that Kelsey came out and said something because they've just been dragging her. It's just like, bro, that was your friend at the end of the day. Like I will never understand how people can claim to be friends and then treat each other in like that type of way. Like that was never a real friendship then. If as soon as something big goes down, it's like boom, all your business out to the street. Like she stayed in the background. She didn't say nothing. A month went by after the situation. Kelsey ain't coming on shit. She ain't like, like she wasn't doing nothing. She was minding her own goddamn business. Like first time she popped back up, as I said, was like her birthday in August. Like the end of freaking August. Why? Why? Like now look, you got freaking Kelsey over here trying to like rap rap. Look what you caused, man. Look what you caused. But anyways, guys, this is the end of my video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media. Let me know how you guys feel about this district down in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. Let me know your take on it. Let me know if you feel like Kelsey was lying in this or she just wanted to say something just because. Talk to me down below. Bye!